Um, at first, let me present myself. I'm Alicia Distort and I'm a data analytics solution specialist. I've joined Altair in May 2019 and I'm working into aerospace vertical in, in, uh, in Altair. Uh, what I'm going to present uh, today is one of the main capabilities and features of our Alter Rapid Manner platform, our frictionless AI platform that is covering the entire data workflow coming from the data engineering to then the modern building and testing, and then after also the monitoring reporting phase. Um, let's may um, uh, let's go much more in deep with the key aspects of today. Basically, we have um, several challenges when we would like to uh, ad adopt a data set in order to create a machine learning model. Um, I've, I, I'm trying to cover let's say the, these two main one. At first, uh, um, the, one of the main important thing is trying to understand the the influence of each variables. Uh, in respect to a, a possible output that needs, for example, to be predicted or uh, calculated in some way. Um, on the on the other side, uh, usually um, when we are training, uh, when we are performing the training and then the testing of some machine learning models, maybe we are not so satisfied about the results. Uh, and this is because uh, the um, the way in which we have worked with those data. Uh, maybe they are not so clean. So then again, we need to apply some preparation, some further preparation to our data in order then to gain satisfactory results also uh, on, uh, on the machine learning model. So it's not always a, a, an issue of the machine learning model, but a lot of time uh, it happens directly on, in, in the data. What could be so the solution? Then let me show you directly into our uh, wonderful software. Okay, here we are. This is the AI Studio um, interface. Um, this is the view that we have uh, uh, when we are trying to access to this, uh, to this tool. On the left-hand side, we have uh, the repository in which are contained basically all of our works, uh, projects, models, uh, data sets, and so on. So uh, every time that I need to import new data, I basically click on this and then the journey starts. Um, we have also the operators part as well. Um, there are many and many and many, um, and so only based on our needs, uh, then we can choose basically directly the operators that we need to apply to our process. And of course, in the central part, we have the whole process that we have already built. Um, for example, in this case, uh, I've retrieved a specific data set by using the retrieve data set operator. Uh, let's first check on directly the data set. Okay, our data set is basically composed by different sensors, this also different type of sensors that are located on a marine engine. This marine engine is now testing, so basically we have all of the different measure from those type from those sensors. And uh, what we need to do then is to uh, identify the state in which uh, the, the, the engine is located right now. So if it is in the state A or in the state B. Um, okay, basically this is our, our data set. Um, another thing that could be useful for us is to understand the, some of basic statistics of this, of this data set. Okay, so basically, for example, I can go to statistics, go to sensor two and understand, for example, the type, of course, of the variables, if they are real or nominal. So basically the state is a category, is state A or B. If we have a minimum value or a maximum one or an average, and also we are able to see the distribution of our data. Um, based also on the distribution, what a thing that we can do, of course, in the preparation phase is the normalization in order to obtain a Gaussian distribution and then apply several models after that. And this could be also a one useful thing um, that could be applied. And as well, also the um, within the average of the, the standard deviation as well. Um, 
now that we have already retrieved our data set, uh, I think that I would suggest uh, in order to then check uh, what variables are more meaningful than the others is the correlation matrix. The correlation matrix allows us to understand the uh, dependencies between each variables, uh, between each other and between their cells, basically. So if I click on run on our data set, and I will go directly here. Let me maybe perform this one. Okay. And I can directly show the correlation matrix results. There it is. So basically my correlation matrix is showing every time that a correlation is negative, like the sensor two and the sensor three. So basically they are negatively negatively influence each other or positively in case sensor four and five for example and of course we have one so every sensors with each with with the same one is as uh, a correlation factor of one uh, basically higher is the correlation factor and higher is the influence between the two variables um, and this is, of course, one, uh, um, one way to understand, for example, the influence of each single variable. Another thing that I can do as well in a useful tool like AI Studio is to check into the auto model. Uh, usually it is, a, let's say, like a first start in order to deploy a model. Uh, for example, I can go directly, click on data set. Uh, of course, in this case, I would like to predict my, my output. So I can, I can click on predict and uh, select my output. Then go to next. Of course, we have uh, the distribution between state B and state A. Uh, it's fine, this, this is basically our outputs. And then I'm coming into this page. Uh, into this page, I'm able to select the inputs. I can select uh, basically all of the inputs um, with the status as green right now. Uh, we can understand uh, that correlation is good, is not too high, uh, avoiding to uh, not seeing uh, further correlations, that could be also important, and even not too low. Um, so basically, in this case, we can, uh, we can select all. If, for example, I would like to focus only on some sensors, of course, I can unselect all of these sensors and then go directly to the next uh, phase. But this again could be also a good way to check the correlation and also other parameters like the stability of the data. If we have missing values, right now we are really lucky because we don't have it and the percentage of text into our um, variables. In any case, let me jump here. Um, what I can do after, after I check the correlation matrix, for example, I can select the attributes. So in, in, in here, for example, I've selected only this, uh, this one because I've seen that uh, the correlation was uh, on a more on a middle level and I've, I, I appreciate better these, uh, these attributes. Uh, and of course, uh, the next steps could be the split, the splitting of the data in order to get, to have then a training data set with 80 uh, sorry, with 80% of uh, our data and uh, also at 20% on the test phase. Um, and then I can apply, for example, a model like this in which I'm retrieving the, the, the model that, for example, I have run within the out model. Um, and I'm using basically the testing data set this one that I've already written here, uh, set the proper role because I need to predict the label. So, uh, and my label is uh, the, the state and then basically apply directly my, um, my testing data set to, to the workflow. What you can see here is, for example, the, the state and the prediction is quite accurate. Wonderful. So basically, we have performed a good uh, operation, a, a good work also during the data preparation. Um, and also with a good confidence of, uh, for example, every time that is stated like state A or B uh, with the value of the cost function. 
uh, I can check as well this part uh, every time that we are testing our data set, uh, our models we have, we can check the performances. So basically we have done a good work and as well also um, um, the true part and the predicted part are, are, uh, are done well. Um, I've done this type of data, uh, this type of uh, um, actions, but I can do many, many, many more. For example, uh, in this case, I don't have um, um, empty values, but in case I can replace the every missing values in different ways, like input one or uh, replace them uh, with uh, averages or minimum, maximum, zero and so on. So I can do as well also this type of stuff, uh, as well also the normalization, or uh, um, um, maybe check uh, and reduce the dimensionality, especially the, the dimensionality, especially if we are working with tons of, uh, of data and on variables, then I can check with a PCA, a principal component analysis, what could be the main, uh, um, the main variables that could be used as well. And uh, I can check as well some statistics and quality measure that basically are quite the same uh, that I showed before directly into my results. Um, if I need to apply more, uh, more and more action uh, related to preprocessing phase, and um, maybe I would like to avoid this type of configuration. I can do the same also into the, into the Turbo Prep. Now I've already loaded my dataset and I can perform a several transformation again um, directly on the single on the single columns. Like for example, here I can perform an auto cleansing directly, uh, choosing for example again the variables that would be my output, and again I can even now perform some PCA, for example, these will be the action that will be performed. I can directly apply. And he has already done this. So you can see here the PC one, two, three, and so on. This will be, say the final variables that then will go directly to a machine learning model. Okay. And as well, I can also create new other in case I can generate new um, new variables as well. So, uh, in case I need, for example, a combinate uh, to combinate uh, some of them, for example. Um, so basically, and again, uh, I let you notice also the distribution here. So I have al always the distribution available. So you can see there are plenty of action that could be done. I've or only made only give you gave you some suggestion. Um, I will uh, invite you to not only try our software. Uh, Alter Rapid Minor Suite is uh, under Alter Units, so it's really convenient to to try to have the access to uh, plenty of uh, of software uh, that could be uh, that, that could. Uh, um, allows you to be more and more efficient. And I will invite you to the next session that will be a writing, a writing from databases. And I will invite you to write to us uh, every every time you have some, some questions, some doubts, we are already available. We are always available to, to, to guide you into this uh, data journey. Thank you for join, join us and have wonderful days and weeks.